Welcome. Thanks for watching my introduction to the Bible. In this series, I'm going to present the basics, including tips on Bible versions, what to look for when buying a Bible, and the content of the scriptures. First of all, this series is intended for beginning students of the Bible. If you're just starting out or haven't been reading the Bible very long, this series will help you get organized and introduce you to basic concepts and facts that you need to know. Secondly, it's for those who maybe have been reading the Bible for a while, but you want to review things or maybe restructure your own study. Either way, I think you'll find this series to be helpful. Thirdly, this study is for anyone who has an interest in the Bible. Whatever group you find yourself in, I believe there will be something for you here. We're going to start with the most basic question. What version of the Bible should I be using? We'll explore how the Bible is translated and what this means for us and what versions are more reliable and why. I'm going to talk about getting a copy of the Bible, including electronic and print versions. For those who decide to purchase a print copy of the Bible, I've included a buyer's guide that discusses things like bindings, paper, cover materials, durability, and helps that really would be helpful in a print Bible. With our Bible in hand, we'll then take a look at the scriptures, beginning with a high-level view of the book as a whole. I'll describe the structure of the Bible and important considerations we need to keep in mind as we study. Once that's done, we'll build on this global view of the Bible and look at the books, the nature of the narrative, biblical time periods, the laws of God, and how to put this all in perspective so we can see how the Bible works together from beginning to end. I hope by the time you're finished with this course, you'll have a better grasp of the Bible and how everything in it works together. You'll know how to get around in the Bible by being able to find the books, and finally, I believe you'll have the tools necessary to take your own study to the next level by understanding solid principles behind determining the meaning of what you're reading. Finally, you'll develop a solid understanding of how and when to apply what you've learned. This is a basic course designed to get folks started with the Bible. Because of that, we'll avoid more advanced topics that might be confusing at a starting level. Once we get through this series, we'll take on the more advanced topics when we're ready for them. But for now, we're concentrating on the absolute basics of the Bible and making sure we have a solid awareness of fundamentals before we go on. In our next video, we're going to talk about what version of the Bible we should use.